What up, everybody? This is RDT and support cancer research, support relay for life. That's the motto of the day: support relay for life, support cancer research, and let's find the cure for cancer. But the whole point of this video is: what up, guys? This is RBT, and I already said that. But this is my re-entry to the uh, TCC for college football. I'm gonna be repping Alabama like always, my favorite team. I did it. I guess you could say this is my second year. Last year, I had this little thing going where I did predictions. I didn't really want to, to um, like show any bias, even though I was an Alabama fan. But it caught the best of me, like through halfway through the season, and I just decided decided to not do the prediction things anymore, and just did strictly TTC from there on. Um, forget what game it was that I decided to do that, but that's really I'm gonna do that this year. But actually, this year, I'm going to be doing a bunch of crap. Like, I already got a schedule made. Like, I can do a bunch of different things on my channel. And TTC is just one of the many things I'm going to be doing. But uh, go ahead, if you're somebody that watches TCC, TTC, go ahead and subscribe. Because um, I'm going to be doing that all year for Alabama and the Titans. And I'm going to be doing a weekly video for the Red Sox. Because I won't be able to do that every... I haven't done a Red Sox video in forever. But um, just to give you a little update I, I already kind of um typed up a little weekly schedule when football is going to start on how i'm going to upload stuff it, it's it's ridiculous mean like up to 10 videos a week i think maybe more than that okay monday i'm still going to do uh like weekly predictions and recaps for football for college and nfl football but that's just one of the things i'm going to be doing added on with the ttc um monday 12 p.m oh yeah this is another thing uh it's I have this thing where I can record games like and put it on my laptop and make videos. I'm sure all you know that already. But I thought it would be really cool to um not, I don't know. I thought it'd be an interesting series to make like every week do a sim prediction on NCAA football 13 and kind of like compare them to really what happens and just like see. I thought that'd be really cool to watch or interesting to some of you out there. So I'm gonna be uploading that every Monday. This is tentative, by the way. This is um just like um. Uh, this is any subject to change. 12 p.m. NCAA football sim weekly predictions. And later that afternoon when I get home from school, every Monday, going to be doing my weekly predictions for college football. Um, like, just all the games. Tuesday, 12 p.m., going to be doing weekly predictions for NFL. All my picks for that week for the NFL. Um, since I'm a YouTube partner, I can, like, have it schedule a schedule uploader so I can be at school. And the video will automatically publish at 12 o'clock if I set it to do that. So it'll be uploaded at 12 o'clock on Tuesday and 4 o'clock or whenever I get home from school. I'm going to be my, doing the TTC of the week for Alabama. Whatever game that is for that week. Wednesday, uh, whenever Madden 13 comes out, I'm going to, I might do a Madden franchise with a certain team. I'm not sure who yet or if I'm going to do this, but if I do, I'm going to be uploading that 12 p.m. on Wednesday and for when I get home from school. I'm going to be doing TTC for the Titans. And this is all going to be subject to change. Thursday at 12 p.m. I might do it like an NCAA 13 matchup of the week video like um, the biggest game of that week. Just play it and just upload it. It might interest some people. And 4 p.m. or whenever I get home on Thursday, I'll be doing a weekly video for the Red Sox. Seeing what's going on with them and whatnot. Friday nothing at all because it's Friday and I won't be home on Fridays um Saturday Saturday Alabama game recap going to be doing the TTC like whatever for the whenever the Alabama game's over then later that night when all the games are over going to be doing the week recap of all the college football Sunday and the Titans same thing for Alabama Titans game's over going to be doing weekly uh, the recap of the Titans game and then weekly recap of all the NFL games so that's really my my schedule for the football season. So what? How many games is that? I mean, videos is that? It's a ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve potential videos a week. That all might could change, but that's that's what I'm playing in. So I'm playing in some big things for this channel coming up for football season. So go ahead and be uh, sure to subscribe. Um, even if you're not really an Alabama fan, go ahead and uh, if you're an SEC fan or just a college fan in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I might, I'm probably in the upcoming weeks or so, um, make another video for the Michigan game coming up. I already know I made one, but I'm going to make a second one for any of you chirpy Michigan fans out there. Um, 
I'm going to make another one, just some updates and whatnot. Um, it's going to be a fun season, guys. We have a, an experienced defense coming back, but we, we're going to have a great offense. I know everybody say to this a bunch. Our offensive line is going to be best in the country. We have a ridiculous stable of running backs. Uh, we might, with the already talented group we have, we might have a true freshman TJ Yeldon start. That shows you how great he's going to be. I, I know I've already said this many a times, but uh, last year I said we had, in my opinion, three potential starters in the NFL in our, in our running back core, which was Trent Richardson, who's going to start this year. That's one. Eddie Lacy, that's two. I believe he's going to be an NFL starter. And Justin Fowler, he's my favorite running back out of all of them. That dude's ridiculous. I believe you might not think so, but he's going to be an NFL starter one day. And... So uh, last year I said there's three. This year, same thing, three. You can take out Trent Richardson. And with all the hoopla about TJ Yeldon, there's another three right there. And not to mention, with those first three stringers, you got D. Hart, a five star, who's can he has p potential to be an all SEC running back. He's gonna be four string. That's ridiculous, man. Um not too much not much else to say, I don't think. Uh, we have two new corners, D. Milliner, and the other corner spot is going to be battled out between probably Travell Dixon and Dion Ballou, two Juco transferees. Um, Dion Ballou was actually committed a few years ago. He might also return punts. He's committed a few years ago, didn't qualify, went to Juco, and obviously he ended up being pretty good. And Travell Dixon was like um, Second overall JUCO player in the country last year, and he committed to us. I think he might actually he might end up um, moving to safety, but we'll see. Uh, we have experienced safety group. That's gonna be our core of our defense is our safety spots. Uh, Benny Sinceri and Robert Lester. Robert Lester's like his fifth year here, senior, gonna be leading that group. Uh, we we have a bunch of talent at safety. Like I said, Eddie. Well, I don't think anybody says, but Eddie Williams might have said that. Eddie Williams um, can move back to safety if he has to. We have Ha Ha Clinton Dix, a five star, who he's going to be in the mix. And just a bunch of, there might be one more I'm forgetting. Um, just, we have a bunch of talent on the field. It's just really how uh, how well they come out to play. First game against, This first game against Michigan will set the tone for the rest of the year because we have Michigan game, then an easy game against Western Kentucky. Then a tough game against Arkansas at Arkansas. Then a weak game against Florida Atlantic, I think. So um, it's just gonna it's gonna be a fun season, guys. I'm gonna be doing two TTC every week. This video kind of got moved from here to there, different topics, but um, I guess that's really it. I don't guess there's much to say. Um, actually, I wanted to check out real fast. Uh, that one, there's one safety I think I'm forgetting of that I didn't mention. That's really talented and that's kind of bugging me. I want to say something about him before I end this video. But probably next week I'm going to be uh, making another video for the Michigan Michigan uh, game coming up September 1st. I already know I made one, but and tomorrow I might be doing my Titans video for the week because the first game is. Saturday or Sunday against the Seahawks at 9 o'clock on NFL Network. Um, Nick Perry was the other one I'm thinking of. He was a four-star. He's uh, really talented. Um, I guess it's really all to talk about. Somebody to look out for this, for this year who's going to be all NCAA, um, all-American this year, I believe. Jesse Williams, that dude, is an absolute beast. He bent 600 pounds. It's ridiculous. Uh, and... So a guy that I think might surprise a lot of people this year is Trader Priest. I know he had a he had a a few spots last year where he was nah he um messed up. I, I remember that Auburn play and that kickoff he missed his he missed his lane and everybody went crazy on Nick Nick Saban went absolutely ballistic on him. But I believe he's gonna have a really big year. He's really talented. He's a northerner, came from Ohio, but I believe he's gonna be doing great for us this year. So this has been a kind of long video. I'm going to end it here after all that. It's done. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just my re-entry to the TTC this year and just some random stuff. So, um...
I don't know. Whatever. Have a great day, guys. As always, roll tide, go socks, go Titans. See you. See you later. Roll tide.